Well, I can't think of a more boring title, and I did that for a reason. Uh, I'm going to head and uh, this is the knife I'm giving away for my 48,000 subscriber appreciation giveaway. And uh, I'm titling this Grass Clippings, a short lecture. The reason is there are people that scour YouTube uh, looking for the keywords subscriber giveaway, subscriber appreciation, free, that kind of thing. And uh, I really want just my subscribers to have a chance at winning this. And I'm putting this up now, this video up now. And I, it's probably going to be uh, probably about a month and a half before I actually reach 48,000 subscribers. And uh, I'm doing that just because I want to give everybody subscribed to me a chance to uh, just leave a comment. And that's all you got to do. Leave a comment saying I'm in or I want the knife or you suck, whatever. Just, uh, that's it. I really do appreciate my subscribers. And uh, I really wish I could do more. I enjoy you and the comments and being part of YouTube. And uh, I wish I could... Uh, give everybody something because uh, it has really enhanced my life that's oil that that's oil uh this is a prototype it's my first one so it's not flawless by any means as a matter of fact i'm going to show you one obvious flaw uh this is my first time using this kind of leather which is right there <clears throat> and uh the back i cut too close to the edge of this roll of leather and uh, it, it was all the same thickness all the way across except right at the edge and this is what happened to my that's all I mean it's sewed it's tight it's not coming apart but uh, when I punched my holes this thinner leather kind of the edge kind of rolled under and and uh, the hole didn't go straight through so I had to sew it like that because uh, you know these were glued together and they're not coming apart so that's, uh, really, that's the biggest, most notice noticeable flaw. For uh, the first one, if I had been thinking, okay, you see how this has got an angle to it, and this has got an angle to it. What was I thinking? Why didn't I angle this, too? The same angle. But I didn't, so that should have been, if I make another one of these... Uh, I'll angle the sheath at the same angle these slashes are and uh, you know the blade is not perfect and I'm not going to polish blades to this degree anymore it takes way too much effort and time and uh, I just can't sell these and justify the amount of time it takes me to put that kind of a polish on them you know it takes me about a week to make a knife and it takes probably two days of steady working on these things and you got to sand them down to such a a high grit you know a thousand twelve hundred grit and then you put them on a buffer and uh, I just don't have the hand strength anymore to do that so uh, I'm unless I can come up with a a way of polishing these without using so much human labor <laughs> then uh, what they're going to be is sanded to about 400, 600 grit, which is still a pretty nice finish. And uh, after that, I'm going to start blowing, bluing them using gun blue. I haven't tried. i got to, you know, cut one and sand it and try this on and see what it's going to look like. But uh, I might like that better. So, thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, a lot of you are my friends and... Uh, you know, some of you have become my family. And uh, I appreciate your time. I know I haven't done a whole lot lately. Uh, I am having to slightly change my focus be because a lot of things. I, I can't get down on the ground and work on things anymore. My back and my neck are killing me. Uh, this hand gives me nothing but trouble. The pain is almost unbearable. And it's the thumb. And I've already had it worked on twice. I ain't going back. I'm just going to deal with it. And each time it's gotten worse. So, you know, if I had 
if I let him try to fix it a third time, I'm afraid it would get even worse. Okay, and I've got nothing but messed up fingers, broken fingers that have healed up wrong. And uh, anyway, moving on. So I'm 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 gonna continue to make knives. I'm probably not gonna work on equipment anymore. Knives is what I love doing. And uh, I'm tailoring my shop to completely making knives. It's going to take me much longer to make these than it used to, just because I've got to give my hands more time off. Or, or I'll, I'll work with my hands until they hurt and just stop. So I'm not going to be taking orders for knives. I'm just going to make them, and whenever I get one made, offer them for sale. Anyway. And, uh... You know, there's a lot of things around here, around my house, that I have to get done that I've been neglecting to do. So that's why I haven't really done much lately. And as far as my cooking videos, I've just, I run out of things to cook, to tell you the truth. I can't think of anything, anything to cook that I would like to eat. I mean, I'm not, uh, I like to cook, but I'm not one of them uh, fancy cook. I can't do a whole lot of ingredients and a whole lot of different spices and all that because I just don't have it. And uh, I like cooking things that are tasty, with as few ingredients as possible, and uh, easy to make. So if I think of something, I'll do some more cooking videos. And I do plan on telling some uh, some trucking stories. I thought of a good one the other day uh, that I'll... Maybe if I don't do a Sunday rant, maybe I'll tell the trucking story. Anyway, thanks again to all my subscribers. If you want this knife... All you got to do is leave a comment, and when I draw, when I hit 48,000, I will draw, and uh, if your name is in the comment section, it will uh, it will come up. This is a white oak inner liner and a paddock outer with red mosaic pins. I like this knife. I'm probably going to make some more, but I'm going to blue the blade instead of polishing it. Thanks for watching, y'all. Take care. My wife and I were at her cancer doctor's, and uh, it occurred to me that some people are in such a hurry to get in here that they run out of their underwear. Because that's safe.